So one of the complications that we're dealing with uh, with this, all this mask bearing, because obviously anytime you do something that is not natural, there are going to be complications, you know, because so right now what's happening is that you're rebreathing your own air, you know, so you're, you're having a mask on, uh, which means that you're creating an environment here uh, that is different than what it normally is, you know, so your skin is exposed to something different than what it's normally exposed to. Uh, our skin is a detoxification organ, you know, like uh, we have uh, four ways to eliminate toxins. We get, you know, through the colon, you know, through the kidneys, through the skin, and then also through the lungs. So, so when we're breathing out, we're actually breathing out toxins. You know, this is a way for us to get rid of toxins and like it is also for the skin. So now when we are putting a mask on, we're then eliminating or we're reducing our ability to, to detoxify through two of our main uh, pathways. You know, obviously we can detoxify through the skin in other areas, but here, you know, you're, you're having been a tougher time to do that. So it, it, it's kind of like uh, putting a mask on. It, it's like, you know, you're, you're it, instead of going to the bathroom once a day, you know, now you're going to the bathroom maybe every other day or every third day because you're cutting back on your ability to get rid of toxins and those toxins got to go somewhere and they're gonna impact the body in some, some fashion. So one of the complications then with having the mask, and I'm gonna do a little bit of a series on some of the things that you can do uh, if you feel uh, like you have to wear the mask, uh, is the acne, or what they call now, mask knee, you yeah. uh, know? And uh, which means that you're carrying the mask and all of a sudden you're getting these outbreaks and rashes and, and acne, you yeah, know, in, in this area. So how do you deal with that well so you get a look then on what it is that you are creating i mean in your mouth hole you have a huge amount of bacteria different pathogens and they are continual as they're living you know they eat and they poop which means that they are excreting toxic substances you know so normally we would just kind of breathe that out but now we are containing that with a mask so now the skin is getting exposed to those toxins uh, and then also it creates an, a kind of a greenhouse effect, you know, where these pathogens can then thrive better, you know, so they can replicate and then you're kind of breathing that out and it accumulates on the skin. So you then have kind of noxious uh, pathogens that accumulates on the skin. And then also we're feeding them with toxic matter, you know, because we're breathing out toxins. So we're kind of feeding them with toxins that they thrive on. So, uh, which makes them replicate a little bit faster. So. What do we need to do then to try to control that as much as possible if we're wearing this mask? Well, one is that we need to change then the flora on the skin you know, as much as we can. So we need to expose it then to healthy flora. Um, and there's a, a fantastic uh, product, it's called Ion Gut Health, or another name for it, Ion Biome. Uh, and, uh, and this, what you would do with this is that you would put it in one of the spray bottles and you would just kind of spray your skin at least twice a day. So you just kind of put the liquid in here, put it in, buy one of these little spray bottles and, and then you spray your, your skin. And that way it, it's kind of like eating probiotics, but for your skin. And obviously in addition to doing that, then taking it internally as well, because uh, what is, if you have a healthier gut biome, if your gut is healthier, your immune system is going to be stronger. And also as you're breathing out, uh, you're going to be, it's going to be less toxic, you know, because you get less, you know, bad bacteria that's producing toxic substances in the gut. So, uh, so that will help tremendously. So applying that on the skin and also taking it internally and normal dosing for it is like a teaspoon three times a day. Uh, that's kind of a normal dosing for this uh, this uh, ion biome or ion gut health. Uh, we have that here at the center. Another thing that is really important for the skin is zinc. Yeah, you know, and we've heard about zinc you know, being important for the immune system, and also especially with this pandemic that we're dealing with. You know, zinc is is crucial also in the immune system's ability to kind of support the fight against you know like the coronavirus or something like that. Uh, so uh, zinc, you know, the different forms of zinc, you know, we have zinc citrate, you know, zinc glycinate, you know, we, we carry that at, at the center here, you know, like both forms. 
and you want to do a, a pretty heavy dose if you're dealing with uh, with a mass knee. Uh, it feels so weird to say that. Uh, all these new terms that all of a sudden come about that we, we didn't know that it, it existed. Uh, so what I would suggest, these are about 30 milligrams per capsule and I would do, you know, and it depends from person to person, but usually when patients come in, you know, and they're dealing with acne, then I try to get them up to like three of these twice a day. You know, sometimes if you do too much, you may feel a little bit nauseous. So uh, it, a good thing is to kind of ease into it. Maybe do uh, one twice a day for you know, a few days and then two twice a day for a few days and then go up to the three twice a day and, and just kind of make sure you're not dealing with that, that nausea because it doesn't mean that it is bad for you when you're dealing with nausea. It's just when you're very zinc deficient, uh, you tend to be nauseous because it, it's actually interesting. You need zinc to digest zinc. Yeah, so, uh, if you're very zinc deficient, then you have a hard time to actually absorb it. So then you start with a little bit to kind of build it up and then and then you can kind of increase the dosage so that you can have an impact on, on the skin directly. Uh, another herb that I like a lot is Pot de Arco. And uh, uh, a lot of good brands out there. You know, we, we have one here. Uh, Pot de Arco is fantastic for a number of different things, but it's a great blood purifier, which means that uh, you clean up a lot of toxic substances that is, is floating around in the blood. And obviously what's floating around in the blood is what's going to get pushed out in the skin. So if you can clean out the blood, then you know less toxins are then being pushed out through the skin. So uh, then we're filtering it out more through uh, like the, you know, from the blood to the lymphatic and then flushed out through kidneys or through colon. You know, those, those are common ways then to kind of eliminate it that, that way with a blood purifier. And in addition to Pot Arco, it's just great for the immune system. You know, boosts the immune system, helps to you know, fight off things like uh, fungus and uh, other noxious things that can also uh, produce these toxic substances that can then also uh, make your skin, skin worse. So, uh, but this one, you know, like two of them three times a day tends to be a good dose. So uh, uh, that's it. Uh, that's my little spiel and what you can do when you're dealing with masking.